Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Usman Akhtar. In today's video, we are going to review about anemia of chronic disease. It is also a type of microcytic hypochromic anemia, but it can be included in normocytic hypochromic anemia, where the reticulocyte count is decreased. So let's go into the pathogenesis of anemia of chronic disease. So any inflammation or it is specifically chronic inflammation chronic inflammation and or chronic infections chronic infection can lead to increased level of interleukin 6 interleukin 6 will lead to increased secretion of hepcidin from the liver it come from the liver so whenever the increased level of hepcidin it is a strong regulator of the iron from the gut absorption so basically whenever the hepcidin is released from the liver it binds ferroportin on the intestinal mucosa where the macrophages or and intestinal mucosal cells they bind ferroportin with that thus inhibiting the iron transport so decrease gut absorption of the iron so whenever any chronic disease like it, whether it is inflammation or infection this process through this process anemia of chronic disease happens so we have different causes like chronic infection and that and that the tb comes on the top of the list chronic renal diseases rheumatoid arthritis SLE these are type of autoimmune disease so any uh, autoimmune diseases which are basically very chronic so can lead to certain pathogenesis and can lead to anemia of chronic disease the symptoms and signs are almost same for every anemia regarding ex exception is there but here all the anemia feature will be same the diagnosis is important look at the diagnosis the serum iron is decreased because the iron is not absorbing from the gut so the iron from the serum will be decreased but the storage are increased which is serum ferritin and because of the decreased serum iron the TIBC will be increased so in every anemia the specifically about where, where, where the iron metabolism is concerned the iron studies is very really important and these three are a main pillar in the iron studies serum iron tibc total iron binding capacity this is very important concept serum ferritin which is a storage form of the iron now let's go to the treatment the treatment is very simple like treat the underlying cause whether it is an infectious or uh, a inflammatory disease or autoimmune disease just treat the cause and the process will uh, reverse and the disease will cure by itself and another it is a type of supportive uh, management erythropoietin you can give erythropoietin injections so the erythropoiesis can be stimulated but very important point came into my mind now just with the erythropoietin whenever you give erythropoietin to a patient never give a second shot before one week because erythropoiesis take almost one week for the full uh, work so never give just like if you give erythropoietin to a patient just wait for one week it's not like this you give today and after two three days you are looking at CBC and the erythropoiesis is not happening so you give another shot it ultimately will worsen the patient by polycythemia and some other uh, causes. So it was all about anemia of chronic disease. Thank you so much.